Hello everyone! Welcome back to another vlog. I love vlogging. It's like talking pictures. So today is Friday, so it's our day off. Oh my god, the room is a mess. Let me shut the door. Today is Friday, it means that it's our day off and Brad and I are going to do something fun. So we just had breakfast and I got ready. First, I wanna show you something. I wanna show you my new rocks because I'm so proud of my new rocks. One second. These are my new rocks, but this is it. Look at it. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. You click this button. Like if you don't click it, nothing I, comes out. I think most people know how to do when it. You click it. Oh, thank you so much. We're doing something really cool today. We talked about it yesterday, but I wasn't sure we would do it. Come here, come here, let's tell them. Where are we going? Uh, actually, let me tell them. We're going to the place where he proposed, Tampa. We had a really romantic day and we were walking around. It was super cute and we just stopped for a second. And it was the perfect moment and I just took a deep breath and I said, Sonia, will you marry me? No, he had the long speech. Oh, oh my god, this is so fun. So he had a long speech. We were walking and we had Starbucks and um, I sat down on a bench. I wasn't expecting him to propose that day. And then he sat down and I was like chilling. And then I saw him, I looked at him in the eyes and he was like shaking, his lip was shaking. He was like all nervous and I was like, oh my god, I think he's about to do it. And he had this speech and everything ready and he started talking he was saying i don't know a lot of sweet things but all i could think about was oh my god oh my god oh my god he's going to propose oh my god it's happening oh my god it's happening so i wasn't listening to him and then he proposed and then i said yes and then i said like brian can you please repeat the whole speech because i wasn't listening so we'll try and go to tampa and see if there are too many people we'll have to go back or go somewhere else. But if we feel like it's okay and we can do the social distancing, I'd like to walk along the river walk. Be, 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 be. I have an idea. Let's try to talk through and like, like relive our proposal date. with the questions. That day, I remember, the day he proposed, I worked in the morning. I had like five lessons, something something like that. Not too many, but I definitely worked in the morning. I was free in the afternoon and evening. And so Brian asked me to go to Tampa to take a walk, maybe go out for dinner, you know. And I was like, yeah, why not? I didn't think he was going to propose that day. Honestly, we were supposed to go and we went to a baseball game like the week after and in my mind I thought that he would propose at the baseball game so I was like yeah let's go let's go to Tampa my first question is that day did you already know that you were going to propose I thought like it depended like well I could propose today if everything feels right and like the mood's good and like just the weather's good but I wasn't like 100% like I have to do it today but everything like the vibes were really good and the weather was really good and like in the perfect moment I was like this is a good time so for you that was a possibility yeah of course but I mean, you weren't like I'm gonna propose today no I wasn't 100% sure I mean the whole reason of going down there I was thinking like let's do it like on this romantic walk this vlog is interesting even for me because I feel like I'll ask you a lot of questions that I haven't asked you yet. True. We just parked and I have a question for my baby boy. At this point, you must have made a decision that day, like do I bring my ring or not? Well, yeah, I brought the ring, of course, because I knew it was possible. And then when we parked, I realized I only had shorts and a t-shirt, and how was I going to hide this big box in my pocket? So I wrapped a jacket around my waist and hid it in the jacket. It's so funny, because I didn't think about it too much, because I'm always cold, but thinking about it now, it was actually a very hot day, and Brian is always hot, and I'm always cold, and he had a jacket. He was like, no, Sonia, let me bring the jacket with me. I didn't think about it. I was like, yeah, smart idea. You might get cold later, but it was to hide the box. <laughs> and this 
is the river walk. Seems empty enough for me. I'll try not to touch a lot of things. It's very empty. I don't yes. see basically anyone. It was such a cool day. I really didn't expect him to propose. I was just enjoying the view, enjoying the, the day. I'm hungry. We'll get something to eat soon, maybe. Okay, so this time we started our walk the opposite way. Last time we walked that direction, the other direction for like maybe a few kilometers and we enjoyed the day and then we went over there, there's a Starbucks. You proposed when we were walking to the car, right? No? Not necessarily walking to the car, but heading this way because then we went to dinner after anyway. Yeah, but I remember that we decided to go to dinner because you proposed, because that wasn't the plan. The uh, plan was going back home. Uh, it's right there. It's the far one, right? Yes. Do you think other girls have been proposed to on the bench? What was going through your mind? I was thinking I want to do it, so I was like, let's tell Sonia to sit down and then like just stop from like walking because I didn't want to just be like... And then I actually got my camera on my phone and laid it kind of on the railing and then I walked back and I was just like, Sonia, la 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 la. Oh yes, because he knew that I wanted it to be on camera, I wanted to record it But honestly, honestly, I didn't see him place the ca the phone I was sitting here and I was enjoying the, the sun was the view. kind of setting Yeah, it was like the sunset So I walked up and I was like this I just thought that he was enjoying the view too And then you sat here and you're like, Sonia, and trust me, this moment I knew you were going to propose because your eyes changed, your face changed. I was nervous. I know, and then I got nervous too. I didn't cry, I didn't cry, but I was like freaking out, like, oh my God, so this is happening. It was a nice little moment. And then Sonia and I were like, I can't believe we're actually gonna get married. Yeah, it looked like this. He did it. Also, I want to say, do you know why he chose this bench, which I love, so I'm happy. He chose this bench because it's the last bench and this the most private because he didn't want people to see yeah. that he was proposing. It was his like nightmare. Yeah. He was like, oh no, right? Yeah, I'm too shy. <laughs> he would have never proposed in front of a lot of people like the baseball game like I thought, but to me it was perfect. So honestly, I didn't have anything in mind. I didn't have a ideal dream proposal. I didn't have an ideal ring. What he chose is just perfect. I know a lot of girls have this ideal, like the dream ring. I don't know why, I feel like I'm a kind of romantic girl and I dream about a lot of things and I like to plan and think about things. But for the proposal and the ring, I was like, it's something that I want my fiance, my boyfriend to think about and I'll be happy no matter what. Expensive, cheap, uh, in front of a lot of people, just us, anything. I was like, I'm gonna be happy no matter what. After he proposed, we were supposed to go home and have dinner, but we were like, no, we gotta celebrate. So we decided to stay and we had an amazing dinner. I'm hungry. <laughs> Babe, were you worried I'd say no? No. Really? Yeah. Not at all? So why were you all shaking and nervous? It's still a nervous moment. You know it's gonna be a moment that's like ingrained in your memory forever and it's just like now is the moment and you just get nervous. I definitely wasn't like shaking because I was like she might say no. She and I both knew it was coming and that we were gonna do it and then I just did it. I could have said no. <laughs> I guess it wasn't ever 100% that she'd say yes. For lunch, we found a poke bowl restaurant and I know I'm boring, but I love poke bowls. Plus, even though they're getting more popular in Italy, it's not like you see them all the time and I got a spicy tuna mayo poke bowl. Yummy. Yum. You want to go back to the river walk? Yes. Brian and I need to plan a little trip to Colorado because someone is about to become an aunt and an uncle. Oh yeah guys, I actually don't know if I've already said it on this channel. Brian's sister, Camilla, and her husband and Cody, I mean they're pregnant. And it's incredible because she's gonna have the baby in at most 10 days. No, maybe even less. 
No, what eight. What is today? It's eight, 17. Eight days, that's crazy, that's One crazy. Week. I remember that at first, when we found out, I couldn't say it on the channel, because it was still private, so I couldn't. And I don't know if I have, oh my God. Well, we're super, super, super happy, because it's our first nephew, so it's a boy. We don't know the name yet. We don't know the name. We have our guests, though. Okay, let's talk about his ring. I have my ring, but I got him a ring too after. It's simple because I know that Brian likes simple things, but it has like this black diamond in the middle. I think it's really cool. I like it. We're going to Brian's grandparents' house to say hi. Maybe the grandma made more cookies. She made muffins the other day and I guess we should have left some for Chris or for Jim, but we no. ate them all. Those are for the special guests. I ate two, he ate three. Parents. Okay, now we're going home and it's raining. Yeah, I know. I need to just And we're going to have dinner with Jim and Jenny. Obviously when he proposed we had dinner just the two of us And we didn't see my grandparents. No Now we're going to this restaurant. I like it because it's super patriotic. So patriotic. And to me it's very very interesting. It's cool because they give you like the flags and they sing American songs and everybody there. Like there are a lot of veterans. I think you like this restaurant. Of course the food is like mainly burgers, some fish, some salads. But the main thing is just the America, America theme. We got there quite early, it was like 6 something p.m. and just by looking at the sign at the entrance you can tell that it's a very patriotic restaurant. We sat down, we ordered our drinks, we ordered our food and I had time to appreciate the Americanness of the place. At one point the waitress started handing out little American flags and little did I know, not long after that a very American song started. USA, baby! Just my attempt. I'm trying not to get demonetized because I don't have the copyrights for this song. Now for dinner, Brian had a cheeseburger, I think. And I had a fish burger, it was mahi mahi, and the fries were so good. We had a very nice dinner with Jim and Jenny, and then we went back home. We're home, guys. We had fun. It was such a fun day, and the dinner was really, really good, and now I'm full. And now we're probably, I know it's still early, but we're gonna watch something. And tomorrow we have to wake up early because we're going kayaking and so we'll watch something and go to sleep. Subscribe to the vlog. Subscribe to the vlog, thank you for watching. Jim. Subscribe to the vlog.